Hello and welcome to our fourth lesson on building the bridge. My name is Josh Beck. I'm a technology teacher in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, this series of lessons was taken from a book called The Essential Blender, Guide to 3D Creation with the Open Source Suite, The Blender. This is lesson four. In the first three lessons, we modeled out this. Uh, we modeled out a plane. We did some extrusion, um, played with some of the tools, and uh, created an array that basically uh, extrapolated everything we'd done into a cube. Um, if you haven't watched the first three lessons, check them out. It's definitely worth your time if you're into uh, into the Blender. Um, the book, The uh, Essential Blender, which is uh, $44, is a great buy, and uh, it's a great reference um, resource for this kind of thing. So we're going to make a couple of moves here. Um, we're just going to close up the top of the cube in this lesson, and uh, we're going to make the whole model fully selectable. So... Uh, here is the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to go into object mode and we're going to make sure the object is selected and if you remember way back when in the first couple of lessons we created a mirror that basically um, mirrored one quadrant of one side of this cube across the x-axis and then down across the y-axis and down here are modifiers and these are our mirrors right here x and uh, and we clicked do clipping and did all of that okay and if you go into uh, edit mode you can see right now that um, this quadrant is the only part that's selectable so if I make a change to one face or one edge well that change is going to be selected across um, it's going to be reflected across all four sides and all four quadrants okay um, well there comes a point when you've got your model set up and you want to be able to select any different part if you're working with a face for example um, you know faces are not perfectly asymmetrical you want to be able to maybe add a pimple or something on one corner so uh, we're going to make this cube fully selectable and what we're gonna do is we're gonna head down into uh, object mode uh, I suppose it doesn't matter and uh, where it says add modifier once you've added your modifier and you have worked with it you can simply apply it so I'm gonna click apply for mirror apply for mirror and I'm gonna click apply for array and once I do that um, if I go into edit mode you can see now that I am able to select all the faces, all the vertices, and everything else. The whole model is selectable. I can now begin changing different parts of it. Okay, so on to closing up the top. Now this is tricky. Um, we're going to zoom in and we're going to select the top edge. For me, I found the easiest way is to shift in edge, edge select mode. Start shift clicking the top edge all the way around, okay? Now it's kind of difficult. Um, let's say you make a mistake and as you select the top edge if you're working through this model um, you're gonna make mistakes alright so I'm gonna purposely make a mistake and when we move on sometimes you don't recognize them right away. Let's say I've selected um, this edge right here and I didn't want to because that's not a part of our top edge. Um, let me zoom in a little bit and show you. See the yellow right there this vertical edge well, we don't want that selected. So what you can do is you can hold down B for box select. And um, instead of left clicking, you right click and you draw the box around the edge. Okay? And that will deselect anything that you may have selected. So hit B and then right click and draw a box to deselect edges. Um, that's not immediately apparent when you make a mistake and all of a sudden you have to deselect an edge. Uh, the question immediately becomes apparent, well, how do I do that? Um, all right, so I'm going to go around, and I'm going to attempt to select all the top, all the edges. And you can see I made a mistake right there. That's okay. We're going to fix it. All right, there's the top edge. I'm going to zoom in here. And I'm going to go all the way around this model. And... I'm going to hit B, I'm going to right click, draw a box here, I'm going to attempt to alright so I got one side selected hopefully I'll be able to pop right around here and you know the trick is really just getting a good angle on it if you can get the mouse on an edge 
where you know it's the computer's not interpreting the click as being somewhere else um, you got it made and the more you practice the better you get at it but as you can see I'm still just making a lot of mistakes when I'm doing my selections and it's important you just get that top edge um, if you miss one it's real easy to go in and deselect it using the box select tool and right click um, which is nice and you know and when you're selecting multiple edges it requires a double click it doesn't immediately select it it kind of it, it sort of it wants you to double click I think um, the first click sort of prompts you and sort of shows you well is this the edge you want to select and then you select it see I made a mistake there we'll get down and we'll fix that in a second all right one more to go now as you can see this box didn't come out perfectly along the edges but you know what I think it's gonna work out um, alright so I made one mistake over here as you can see I selected um, there's one it's kinda hard to see actually but I did so box select right click All right, now I have selected the entire upper edge, almost. You can see I'm missing one there. I'm going to try to get it into a nice even spot where I can get it. There we go. Come on, give me some slack. There we go. All right, so I've got the whole edge selected. Now I'm going to click two keys. I'm going to click E to extrude. I'm going to follow that by S for size. I'm going to bring it in just like that, and it will extrude all the edges you've selected inward. Make sure you don't have anything else selected. We're going to make a square in the center. And now with all the edges still selected, I'm going to bring up my specials menu with W. I'm going to click merge. I'm going to choose at center. And it's going to remove the vertices and it's going to close it right up. Um, so what I did was I selected the top edges. I clicked E and then S. Then I was able to bring all those edges in. And then I clicked W. I chose merge and I chose at center. And if we go into object mode, you can see our box is now closed up on the top. All right, not perfect. You can see that I've got some edges there um, that just don't quite show up. That's okay because we're going to put a plane over this bridge eventually, and uh, it's going to cover that up. So, not perfect, but it works out. And that is lesson four in building the bridge. Essentially, what we did was we made the whole model selectable. We selected the top edge all the way around. We closed it up, making that series of moves, and now you've got a box uh, that's closed on the top. That's it, and uh, look for our next lesson, which will be...